Hey guys, this is Teddy's Journal coming back to Let's Play Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. We're about to play the sewer level of this game. And as we all know, sewer levels suck. And this one is no exception. So let's start and get this shenanigans over with, shall we? I smell death as well. <sighs> Part 4. Lair of the Dark Prince. Princess Leia has met with the mysterious Dark Prince Zizor when she discovered his plan. She is held captive deep within his lair beneath the Imperial City. Zizor is unaware that both Darth Vader and the Rebels have learned of his treachery and have raced to confront him. Determined to rescue Leia and destroy Black Sun, Luke and Dash slip unnoticed into the depths of the Imperial City's underworld. So Leia gets kidnapped by... Wow and doesn't bother saying, you know what, you're right, I fucked up. Here you go, Emperor, have the princess. Now you can get damn Luke and other all that other stuff. Nope, I'm just gonna just hold her here. Probably some sort of slave uniform again. Uh, the sewer tunnels lead to Zizer's palace. Lando, Chewie, and I will search for Leia. Dash, see if you can find a way to cover our escape. We'll meet back here. I love how Dash is standing with his blast, like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> sure, Luke. I'll just plant a few pulse bombs and blow this foul smelling place sky high, babe. Just be sure to make it back in one piece, says Mark Hamill creepily. Yes, folks, the sewer level. Find your way through the sewers and get to the entrance of Zizor's palace. Arf? Oh, okay. That's nice. Cool. The only good thing about this level is we get our jetpack back. Yay! So let's go through the ammo loaddown. We have 100 late. Well, we've got infinite lasers. 6 flame. 29 pulse, because I blew all my pulse ammo on that loader droid. You know, the steroid version of Wally. -E. 26 secret missiles, and two nuclear bombs. Yeah, we're pretty much good to go. So we're going to go down the spiraling extravaganza. And it's sewer level. It's dank. It's dark. The music's very haunting. I just fell off the edge. Oh, and droids that have weird dog faces. Okay, screw these guys. We're just going to easily fall to our deaths. All right. So, we have, actually have to go in sewage. I'm honestly kind of surprised Chewie didn't, you know, growl and hiss and snarl and, you know, we could have made the joke. I don't care what you smell, just get in there. Oh, yeah! And we're kind of done with stormtroopers now, per se. We're now going to be fighting black sun guards. They're pretty much guys in red who are just stupid looking and they hurt the thing a bit more. And, of course, if you're tired and sick of droids, we'll be fighting more droids in Zyzer's Palace. And I mean a shit ton of droids. But we won't be doing that until we beat this level, and who knows how many lives I'm going to lose. I'll probably lose just as many lives as I did when I did Gaul. Die! That's an annoying droid, I swear. Alright. And down. And down. And down. What the? And down. Thank you. Nothing to do here. And down. Did I actually do anything? And down. Oh, come on! Okay, apparently those guys have, like, some sort of seeker disruption. Oh, come on! I'm going to the dank water below! Into the think tank! Oh, hey, more seekers! Ow! And a droid. Alright, 48 health. And I think this is the part where we can actually be... No, we can't be fully submerged yet. But look, we get to deal with more grinders! Yay! And something weird with 5 health to it. Yay! 5 health! We've got whopping 53! We're gonna be fine and dandy and I'm gonna die again probably. Aha! Take that! Oh yeah, you also hear that gurgling noise? We gotta fight tentacle monsters. 
So you guys make all the hentai jokes you guys want to now, but yeah. Tentacle monsters. And I hate these guys because you will slip into the water. You won't know that they're there until they come out of nowhere and just rape you to death. Also, it's nice, because whenever you're in the water, you have unlimited jetpack fuel. So I guess that means the Imperial City water is probably highly radioactive, which is why Dash can recharge his jetpack. Oh, hello, tentacle monster! I don't know anything else. Cool. The only downside about being in water is that, yeah, it's murky as hell, and I can't really see much, though. Just like how everything else I've uploaded to YouTube, it will probably get a really nice filter to it. Oh, hey, more pulse cannon rounds! So it'll probably be a bit brighter on the screen when you watch this, folks, than what I'm viewing. Also, we will eventually get an air gauge. And so let's say screw everything else and let's go down this pathway. Ow. God damn it, I hate these... These droid look... They look like droids with, like, frickin' CCR captain hats on. So I guess they're communist droids. Yay, communism! Yay! So after all, folks, we love learning about communism, and that's anything that I'm, uh, you know, the Muppets has taught me. Yeah, if anyone read that article about uh, people saying that the Muppets is teaching kids communistic values because to disrespect the big oil companies, and it's just stupid bullshit. But why am I talking about the Muppets when we're playing a Star Wars game? So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, oh no! I can only breathe for another 27 seconds! Quickly, find an air bubble! Where's the warning music? Ah, oh, well, the worst we'll get is, is just a whole series of, ah! No! Oh, ah! 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 Okay, screw it. No switch is worth this. Come on. Activate the switch. These switches are annoying, because you're pretty much hugging the wall. There we, there we go! And did we get anything? No! We got an extra life and a challenge point! Yay! Challenge points! Oh, look, we have the air gauge again. Just another thing about it, does this kind of remind you folks of Clanker's Cavern? You know, the gray, abysmal, gunmetal scale. There's nothing down here, so why am I even wasting my time? Shooting my way up! Like a rocket man, burning out his fuels out here alone. I apologize, guys. It's like 12.30 at night. I am not tired, and that's probably why I'm just going completely nowhere with anything I'm saying. So, please, do bear with me. I don't like this level anyway. This level has plagued me and my, night and my nightmares for many, many, many eons. Since all before you were born. Oh, and our challenge point, and more secret missiles! Oh, cool, we have 34 secret missiles, so anytime we want to, you know, use a poorly designed homing rocket, we're completely set. Okay, I think this is the part where we either we go down or we go up. Let's go up first. If we see guards, that means we're going the right direction, I think. I think. I don't know, there's a droid down there, and I think that was like one of the right directions we could... Oh, hey, look, there's... Black Sun Goons! Wait, there... They actually look like Master Chief! Huh, posers! Wait, is there anything up there I missed besides being shot at with target practice? Oh, hey, gun! Wait, no, there was something shiny up there. Ow. Give me my 20 health. And what's that shiny? <gasps> it's a good shiny. Like a pulse cannon shiny. Cool. So what's down here? Because, you know, this is a giant-ass maze, but at least it's not a first person. Now it's a first person maze! And as we all know, first person mazes were the shit back in the, you know, 90s when everyone was trying to do one. Now I've got an Imperial Key, which does something. I kind of skipped over... Oh, right! We could go back that way. Okay, we got a first person. And do cinematic mode! Huh. 
So yeah, folks, um, tell y'all what, the second I hit a lot of subscribers again, I might, I might initiate the let's attempt to play this game with the cinematic camera. And, uh, we'll see how long that lasts. Come on. Come on, stop moving! There we go. Okay. So that was the path that we took down. I want to see what the path is if we went all the way up. I'm sorry. We have to go all the way back. Then we go all the way up. I'm sorry, it was all the way down. Okay, I'm going to die. Due to my incompetent incompetence. So what's down here besides a black box? My god, folks. The internet was trying to kill us. Oh, hey, challenge point. That was it, wasn't it? So I'm gonna die. Because the internet was trying to shoot me for a challenge point. Oh, don't you feel complete, folks, knowing that we pretty much might die just for a fantastic, wonderful challenge point. That's challenge point number three out of God knows, like, what? 25, 40. It's the Imperial Sewers. This level is like stuff. Just. Tentacle rape you. Ugh. Anyway. So that way, the Imperial Key, we're gonna actually take that small exit down, located down the shaft. Here we go. Pop on out. And we're gonna use this key to go through this door. There we go. Oh, hey, look! More water! Oh, God! Tentacle monster! Wait, is it dead? No, it's not! Dash! Look up! Look up! Ugh. I don't like these underwater bits. Maybe because I can't see where I'm going. And I've got a limited air supply. And I've got things that are trying to kill me in here. Ugh. I wish I had the gravity suit right now. Well, time with the jetpack is the gravity suit. I'm gonna run out of air if I don't like... Christ, I went the right way. Ow! Got a shot out of the sky. But it's okay, folks, because we're gonna start back here. Oh. That was the right way. Okay, so what's down here, if there's, like, any... Oh, hey, challenge point! Wow, folks, this might actually be the second level in which I get all the challenge points. Wouldn't that be amazing? The fruit of my labor finally paying off in the form of mysterious medallions that we don't know, well, that have seemed to be used no useful in the game. That's actually a complete lie. Basically, what the challenge points are is it's just there for extras. I don't know what the extras are, per se, because I've never really bothered with it, but if you, like, get, like, all the challenge points on, like, you know, Jedi, you unlock the ability to, like, play the game of, like, invulnerability for the entire time, which pretty much is god mode, so you're just wa running around using your laser pistol to kill everything, including, you know, the every single boss is going, ah, la, 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 la. Oh, it's a giant grinder. Okay. So before this Zelda-like trap kills me, let's finally uh, snipe the guard on the other side. Oh, hey, challenge point! Uh, back in the days when LucasArts actually made good games. It's sad to think how far they've come. Uh, sigh. Oh, come on! On! You know what? Screw it. I want to go all the way down here. I want to see what's at the bottom of this pool of filth and challenge point and... <gasps> Come on, pick it up. Disrupt your ammo! <laughs> it's so beautiful! Okay. I just gotta activate the switch by... ...failing miserably. Ah, crap. That's okay, we'll just wait in the water until our jetpack is refueled. There's nothing that gets back on dry land, so we can just watch that gauge skyrocket. Cool, we have 